Hello, in today's episode we're going to be talking about some of Django's built-in um, template tags. So you've probably seen a few things that we've done already. Um, if we go to our, for example, our posts, uh, what do we have so far? Maybe in our core templates, like, you'll maybe see some of this syntax where we have this uh, squiggly percent sign, right? That is denoting a template tag. So it's going to take a name of the tag and sometimes usually like an argument, right? Um, same thing here. This is another template tag block and then an argument. Um, so we're going to talk about some of the more common ones used with Django. Um, and we're also going to build out a page that displays a table with our um, articles, right? So I I went ahead and made a few articles uh, or posts, I guess I should call them. So I made these four posts right here, right? Um, so let's go ahead and make a page um, that has those um, that has those articles for us, right? So in the post, we're going. The first thing that I start out with is, do I even have? We haven't made any URLs yet. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the URL. Um, for this, and let's go ahead and open for core URLs. Do I have this at least? Okay. So here, um, so this post, I want to have a post view, right? And I'm going to go post view, and I also need to include this URLs in in the project URLs. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into here add this into my project URLs, and I want to prefix this with posts. That way everything in here is going to start, um, everything's going to start with posts in the URL. Okay, so I got this, and I think we're good here. Now I need to make my view, which is called post URL. And we're going to use it as a list view. So list view is in Django um, what we use when we have a list of objects that we want to use um, on the template. So what we'll do from um, from Django dot views dot generic dot base maybe import list view. Let's see if base is the right one. Um, and then we will create our post views class and inherit from list view. Um, and so we only, with list view, we are just going to do template name. Uh, and that is going to be post.html. Uh, so post that. And we also need to give it a model, um, which is going to be post. So we need to import from, we need to import that post. So we're going to import that from our models. Um, import post. Okay, so that's going to import this post model right here, and we also need to create this post dot post. I'm going to close this. All right. So now we need to create our template, um, which is where we are going to put in our template tags, right? So if we go. Posts and we'll create a new folder called templates. Templates, and then here we will do posts, and then we will create our posts.html. All right, so here, um, similar to what we did in our about page, we are going to extend our base HTML template and fill in the block. All my posts, all well, this is a Reddit posts, right? We'll just do that. Kind of going back and forth on calling this a Reddit clone. It's just really just kind of just we're just using posts and grouping them. Um, so we'll just stick with it, even though it's not really a Reddit clone. It's just kind of using Reddit as an example for learning. Um, okay, so all Reddit posts. Um, let's just make sure this render is okay. 
this was on my post URL, and it does not. It's probably an import error or syntax error. That works too. All right, so it's going to be here. I forgot a comma. Probably going to import view. All right. Um, so generic dot. Oh man, why can't I remember? Uh, it's not base. Is it list? It might actually be list. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I got my all Reddit post here. Okay, so we got this rendering the page now, right? Now we want to put in a table. Um, let's just go ahead and get, I don't remember the exact syntax for materialize. So let's go ahead and do this table. And we will, let's do a border table. Let's copy this here. And we will post this in here, see what this gives us. See if this looks okay. All right, and we can do like, um, make it look a little bit better. It's really easy to make it look a little bit better equals uh, board. Okay, and let's put this all in a container. Okay, so, that looks a little bit better. Um, let's give us a class. Uh, was it a line center maybe? I always get all the CSS stuff a little bit mixed up. Okay, so it's gonna be center align. All right. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like. Um, and we're just gonna have a list of our posts, right? So as you can see here in this in this what uh, in this sample HTML, you know, we are, um, we're repeating our code, right? Obviously, we're not going to want to do that. Um, now, the beauty of this list view is that it's going to put, um, a, it's going to put all of our posts into our template syntax in a, in a variable called, um, called posts, post list. Okay, so if we go here and we do post list, see what this shows us. Oh man, there's the post list. All right, so we can see we have this query set here with all of our posts, right? Um, we haven't learned about this yet, so we'll, we will be learning about this soon, but these are objects that have all the data uh, about these different posts, right? We have four posts, and we're gonna display these four posts right here. So what we can do, instead of having this right here, um, if we look at our post model, we can see what do we wanna put. We wanna put a title, um, I don't wanna put title, author, and create date, right? We'll just do that for now. Um, so we'll do author, title, and create date, okay? Create titles, change these. I don't know exactly what those are doing, but probably important. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a for loop. So for um, post in post list, okay? So what this is gonna do is this is gonna loop through all of the objects this is gonna loop through all of our objects that we have in this post list. Um, so what we looked here, so we have these four posts here and it's gonna loop through them. And it's, and it's as easy as doing post.author and then post, oops, post.title and you guessed it, post.create date. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what this gives us. Sweet, so we got author, which is our username. We got title for our article title, and we got create date with the default um, format, right? Now you can see this also has the time. Um, I think maybe if we do this, let's see. Sweet, so that's just gonna do date. So I just added this, which is called 
a filter, um, which we'll be talking about probably next episode. So I might actually leave this one off for now, and we will talk about that a little bit later. Okay. And um, I think you want to get rid of this. Okay. So this is a basic for loop, right? Um, this is very, very common. You will be using this a lot. Um, so practice with it. You can uh, yeah, be comfortable with this one. You're, you'll be using it a lot. Um, the other one you will use a lot is the if statement, right? So um, we'll see. Oh, where's my models? There it is. Sorry, I can't read. Um, so we have this published field too, right? And we're defaulting to true. Now, let's say we don't want to show those here, right? Um, in the template, we actually would do it in the view. But for this example, we will do it in the template. Just don't do this at home. Don't do this in the future. Um, okay, so say we want to just show it if there is if it is published, right? First thing we need to do is we need to turn one of these to be not published. Um, let's go with, let's go ahead and just make this one not published. So let's unpublish this one. Okay, so you will see that that post is still there, right? Um, so what we can do is we can do an if statement. If post dot published, then we will show it, okay, Let's see if that works, sweet, so now we have three, so the one that was not published is being hidden now, um, cool, so that's pretty cool, um, you know, and there's a whole bunch, there's, there's just a whole bunch of uh, template types, look in the Django docs for some more examples, but those are the two, like, most common ones. I think now Nah, I don't know how to use that one. Anyway, look at the Django docs um, and you can see um, a whole bunch of different built-in template tags that you can use. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff. I actually was just looking at it and I, I learned a couple of new things too. Um, new ones that I didn't know. Maybe they're like new in, in Django 110 or something. Um, but yeah, take a look at that. Play around with different tags. Um, you can also make your own tags, and that's a little bit more advanced and not as common, so we won't be talking about that here in this episode, but maybe in a future video we'll uh, brush over it. And uh, you know, as always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you get stuck on anything, um, let me know. The code will be posted on GitHub, so you can take a look there too. Um, and until next time, have a good time and happy jangling.